Dhul Qaeda is the 11th month of the calendar. And the final month sounds very similar. Oh, that must be the Hijjah! Well done! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give it give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is Fanny lungu other than just doing reactions on this channel we also have other things that we do and you can find the links to those things in the description box below and just make sure to check them out and i hope you guys are doing all right i hope you're keeping safe and i just hope you're fine and i'd like to I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that's been supporting us thus far. We really, really appreciate you guys are the best and thank you for supporting us. We wouldn't be doing what we would were doing now without you guys. And so today I'm going to be reacting to learning the Islamic lunar months. And I'm excited to see what this video holds. I'm eager to learn whatever is contained here in this message. So uh, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Star and Old Saffron will be teaching the students about the Islamic calendar. By the end of this class, they should be able to say all the Islamic months from their memories, and so should you. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a biscuit, Luke? Yeah! Those breed fire, you know. It's very dangerous to bring that to school. You could get in trouble. Assalamu alaikum, class. Shh! Oh, this is not going to be good. Today we are going to learn about the Islamic months. The first month is called... Oh, I know, I know. It's Maharan. That is correct. Everyone knows that. That's the month we're sad in, right? That is correct, Tango. It is the sacred month where Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, the grandson of the Holy Prophet, was martyred. Muharram. Now, what is the second month? Safar. Very good. Because we all have to suffer in it. Why are we always sad, dude? Aren't there any happy months? Well, the next month is a very happy month. It is the month where the Holy Prophet was born. Oh, is that Rabbi Owen? Correct. You're supposed to put your hand up before answering, little brother. And how did you know it's Rabbi Owen anyway? Oh, because I have a Christian friend named Robbie, and I remember I met him when it was Rabbi Owen. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Hi, my name's Robbie. Hi, I'm Tango, and this is Terry. Hey! <laughs> Owen means first in Arabic, so I remember it like this. It's the month where I met Wabi, Wabi, and it's the first happy month because the prophet was born. What an unorthodox way of remembering. I really don't know what to do with this generation. If Awal means first in Arabic, then I know what the next month must be called. Yeah, Robbie the second. The second Robbie. Sani. Sani means second. So the next month must be Rabi Thani. Very good. Rabi, I mean Rabi, Thani is the next month. I'm not too sure about your methods, but I cannot argue with the results. Rabi Awal and then Rabi Thani. Now, what is the next month? Um. Eh, it is a difficult one. It is called Jumadul Ula. What does that mean? Well, Ula means first. Wait a second. I thought you said that the other word means first. What was it again? Rabiol. Awal. That's the one. I thought you said that means first. What game are you trying to play, Sheikh? Calm down, Cherry. Arabic is a very special language. Some words might look similar, but they have slightly different meanings. You will learn more the more you pay attention. So, the next month is called Rabiol Ula. And the next one after that is... Uh, Jamadul Thani. Good guess, but not quite right, I'm afraid. After Jamadul Ula comes Jamadul Akhir. So we have Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awal, Rabiul Thani, Jamadul Ula, Jamadul Akhir. And then we have a very special month. It begins with Ra. Raja! 
bad. Very good. Even Zaz could still put his hands up. Sorry. The Ahlul Bayt have taught us that Rajab is the month during which Almighty Allah doubles the reward for good actions and erases the punishment for evil actions. Just imagine, in any other month, you would have to work twice as hard, pray twice as much, read twice as much Quran, and give twice as much charity to earn what you would normally earn in the sacred month of Rajab. Wow. So that's Muharram, Safar, Rabi al-Awwal, Rabi al-Thani, Jamad al-Ula, Jamad al-Akhir, and then Rajab. That's the month where Imam Ali was born. After Rajab comes the month of Sha'ban. Very good, Sha'ban. Another very special month for which we have many special supplications and it is a very good opportunity to prepare ourselves. Prepare ourselves for what? Ramadan, Sydney. That is correct. For the next month is the month of Ramadan, which we all know about. That's the month where we all fast. So we have Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awal, Rabiul Thani, Jamad al-Ula, Jamad al-Akhir, Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan. And after that, who can tell me the last three months? Well, after the month of Ramadan comes Shawwal. Shawwal? Yes, Shawwal. It's the month with Eid al -Fit. This is how I remember it. After the month of Ramadan, with no food, the body gets cold. The next month is a warm blanket that you wrap around yourself to get warm. That's why they call it Shawwal. It's like a shawl. Oh, oh, oh. Very good. Although that's not the real reason why it's called Shawwal. What's the real reason then? I don't know. How can you not know? You're wearing a turban. Oh, and wearing a turban suddenly makes you all knowledgeable, does it? Hmm? There. Now you have the turban. Can you tell me why it's called Shawwal? No. That's what I thought. It's just the name of the month. We can study why they're called what they're called another time. Now what comes after Shawwal? I know. Dhul. Dhul. Dhul Dhul. It's Dhul Qa'da. That's right. Dhul Qa'da is the 11th month of the calendar. And the final month sounds very similar. Oh, that must be Dhul Hijjah. Well done, Tango. Although, try to remember to put your hand up before answering the question. Sorry. Your sister is getting impatient. Dhul Hijjah is a very, very special month because Hajj takes place in this holy month along with Eid al Adha. So, these are the lunar months. Lunar? Hey, I thought we were studying Islamic months, not moon months. The Islamic months are lunar months, silly. They're based on the movements of the moon. Oh! That's why whenever we're waiting for the month of Ramadan to start, we look for the new moon. Yeah, and that's why whenever the month of Ramadan ends, the scholars all start fighting about when the new moon starts. <laughs> Jerry, please. For now, let's learn the names of the months. So first we have Muharram. The sad month. Then we have Safar. Where we suffer some more. Then Rabi al Awal. I met Robi, and Awal means first. Then Rabi al Thani. And then after that comes Jumad al-Ula. And then Jumad al-Akhir. Then comes Rajab. That's the month where Imam Ali was born. Then Sha'ban. Then Ramadan. Ramadan. Correct. Then after Ramadan, Shawwal. It's like a shawl. Then Dhul Qa'da. And then finally Dhul Hijjah. The month of Hajj. Tango, why don't you give it a try? Without looking at the board. Um, okay. Um, Muharram. Safar. Um, then it's the first happy month, remember? You met Rabi. Oh, yeah. Rabi al Awal, Rabi al Thani, Jumad al Ula, Jumad al Akhir, and um, Rajab? Correct! Keep going! Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, um, remember the blanket? Shawal! Um, the last two months. Ah, Dhul Qa'ada and Dhul Hijjah. Well done, Tango, you get a biscuit. <coughs> yes, Mr. Narrator. It would be good if the children at home could also get a chance to say all the months. That is a good idea, but I don't have time for all of them. Plus, we don't have enough biscuits. It would be better if the children at home pause the video and try to say the months themselves. Well, go ahead. Pause the video and give it a go. Uncle Saffron. Uncle Saffron. You can move now. Oh, sorry, I thought we were still paused. Now, Ghosty, go ahead. Muharram Safar, Rabiul Awar Rabiul Thani, Jamadul Ula, Jamadul Akhir, 
Recep, Şaban, Ramadan, Şavval, Dul Kadda, Dul Hicca. Oh, 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 maşallah, maşallah. Well done. Here is a biscuit for you. Ha, I got this. Muharrem, Safr, Rabi, Al-Abar, Rabi, Thani, Jamaad, Ula, Jamaad, Ula, Akhir, Recep, Şaban, Ramadan, Şavval, Dul Kadda, Dul Hicca. You are on fire, Thierry. Mashallah. No, really, you're on fire. <laughs> Why would you bring a pocket in that I don't know what to do with this generation. And so the biscuit tunes have learnt the Islamic months. And also not to bring dangerous things to school. Hopefully you two have now walked away knowing the 12 Islamic months. But your intention to burn down the masjid. Oh Will you just stop doing that? You have a problem. to put your hand up before answering, little brother. And this was a very funny and interesting video. Um, is it just meant for children? Or other people can learn from this as well? Um, like I said, it was interesting. Why are they called Luna months? Again, I mean, he's explained, but he didn't explain in detail. So... If you know, please let me know. Feel free to educate me. Otherwise, it's interesting. But then I was trying to think, were those months placed in order, like January, February, such things, or what? And I also wanted to find out if people actually follow them, or do you just go with this? What calendar do we use? Whatever calendar we use, whatever the name is. Do people really follow this or they follow this calendar that's been imposed on us? Let me know. Otherwise, I enjoyed watching this video. It's, the animation was just funny. And how the children in this were eager to participate was interesting. Sometimes teaching should start from home. Is what I'm getting from this. Although they were at school. But teaching should really start from home before children can go to school. So that they are aware of some of these things that they come across otherwise a very nice video let me know what you guys feel about this video and feel free to answer my questions and i'll see you in my next reaction video